Welcome to MNR Music Revolution. My name is Marcelo, and in today's episode, we have a classic guitar pedal, the Kili Compressor Plus. Let's go. Before we continue, we would like to say that we are not sponsored by any music company at all. We buy the gear that we review using our own money and the thoughts and opinion that we have for each specific pedal is 100% based in our own experience as a musician. Robert Keeley created his own company in 2001 in Edmond, Oklahoma which was the city where uh, Robert graduated from the university as an electrical engineer. But before that, Robert was working a lot uh, with pedals uh, by Boss, pedals by Ibanez. He loved to mod them. Uh, he mod pedals really famous like the Blues Driver. He mod the Boss DS1, the distortion. He bought the TS9, the Two Screamer by Ivanes, and many more. The relation with Robert and Compressor started with the Kili Compressor C2, and this one was a success. He sold more than 27,000 copies, and really famous people use it, like Matt Bellany from Muse, Peter Frampton, uh, John Harrington, Icky Willis, and many more. After that, the line of Kili Compressor continues. He offered the Kili Aria Dry Compressor, which is a dual pedal, where we have one side, which is compression, and the other side is an overdrive. Then we got the Kili Basis Compressor Limiting Amplifier, which is a compressor for bass player. Then we have the Kili Compressor GC2, limiting amplifier. Then we have the Kili Compressor Pro, which is more like a studio type of compressor. Then we have the Kili Compressor Plus, of course. And lately, Robert had the Kili Compressor Mini. The history between uh, Robert and the compression is huge. And his contribution is huge too. It's amazing. And um, he's considered one of the godfather of the boutique pedals movement. His talent, his knowledge is well known by all the musicians. So from here, from MNR, we want to say thank you so much, Robert, for your contribution and for make our life happier because any Kili product deserves respect. We're gonna see quickly the controls in the Kili Compressor Plus. We're gonna start with the blend, and this one is very important. It adjusts mix of compressed and uncompressed signal. Full left for 50-50 blend, and full right for full compression, okay? So remember that because it's 
really, really, really important that we start with a 50% of our guitar signal compressed. Mm -hmm. And we can go until 100%. Okay? Then we're gonna go to the sustain with a just compression ratio and increases sustain, of course, but be careful because higher sustain settings will create noise, especially when we are not playing our guitar. Mm? So we need to try to balance these things and don't go crazy with the sustain, which is very easy to go crazy because we all love sustain on a compressor. <clears throat> then we're gonna go to the mm, level. The level adjusts for gain loss to compression or blend. Mm? So you need to find the balance, you can set it up for unity or turn it up higher for a boost effect, like a kind of type of volume boost that we can also use compressor for that. And they work really well. And then we go to the tone. Okay, this is a very useful tool. Why? Because sometimes when we use compressor, we get a little dark sound in our tone. So we can brighten up. Mm, we brighten up. A lot here we have plenty of signal to bright our sound and then we are gonna go to the single coil and humbucker position the switch here and this switch works more like a, an attack release switch see adjust the attack and release for single coils or humbucker mm. this can also be thought of as low output or high output on other instruments, okay? So my recommendation is try both. If you have a single coil guitar with single coil pickups or humbucker, all right, go to the natural one position first, okay? But then experiment going to the other one. Mm, if you have a single coil, try single coils and try humbuckers. Maybe you will find uh, a sound that is good for you and if it's good for you, it's good. So don't think that you only have to be and stay in the single coil position because you have a single coil guitar. No, Robert Gilly, he's a genius and any position you can get good results. And remember, this is like a kind of an attack release switch. So keep that in mind. Then we have the adapter, the nine volt adapter the pedal is true bypass made in Oklahoma of course and here we had the input jack on the sides of course we had the foot switch to turn the compressor on or off
What I think about the Kili Compressor Plus? I think it's a great compressor. I think that we have the possibility to choose between single coil pickups and humbucker pickup, which is great. We have a chance to work with the tone. We can brighten up our sound or darken up, which is also awesome. I think that this compressor excels pushing other pedals. Like for example, if you, if you place it before an overdrive, you can get amazing sustains for days. Also, if you have an already overdriven amp, it can push your amp in a way that is really, really, really nasty. And you can get amazing results. And last thing that I want to mention, and it's important, is about the blend knob. Hmm? People think that when we are in the zero position, we have the blend 100% clean in our guitar signal, and it's not. We are in the 50-50. 50% clean, 50% already compressed. So, if you are looking for a compressor where you can manage the blend knob from zero to 100, well, Maybe this is not the compressor for you. We already start with 50% of the guitar signal compressed. But is this something bad? No, don't worry. Robert Gilly is a genius. So even if you start with a 50-50 in your guitar about compression and uh, natural sound, we have plenty of natural sound to work with. Even if we go until noon, we're supposed to be with 75% of the guitar signal already compressed. He is a genius, so you can still work and use really subtle compressions, keeping your guitar a natural sound. So don't worry about that. But it's important that you remember that because this is a feature that some people sometimes don't mention and they can get confused. So don't forget about this. And the rest is just a fantastic compression pedal that you can really enjoy. Thank you so much for watching. Please press like if you enjoyed the video. Subscribe to our channel, it's completely free. Leave your comments, leave your questions, and we will answer you as soon as possible. My name is Marcelo. We are MR Music Revolution from here, from New York City to the rest of the world. See you guys soon. Bye bye.